Okay, Mobile One Two, we are Delta Bingo Charlie on Gun Show. Roger that, Alpha Max Actual. Graph vectors and ready tape. Ten Four, we got our tape tickered and are standing by for upfill. You have the ball. Tango copy, good buddy. Gun Show launch codes: Five, Row, Epsilon, uh, Twelve, Niner, Greek letter, Steven, hashtag. Uh... Hey there, folks, and welcome to The Gun Show, the show that gives you a needle to the chest loaded with gun-related gaming goodness. This episode is all about Modern Warfare 3, the latest explosive entry in the oh-so-popular Call of Duty catalog. If you have a gaming system and like games with guns in them, then odds are you've spent some time in the Modern Wars or the Black Operations within the past few years. You don't need us to tell you which scope goes best with your scar, or what perks you should pick to be a stealthy assassin. Here at The Gun Show, we value your time. So this episode is designed to catch you up on what's new in the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer realm. Get comfortable, get learned, and then get back in there and shoot your way to glory in the name of The Gun Show. Securing A. One of the biggest changes to the many player action is that they just don't make kill streaks like they used to. Technically, these are now point streaks because you can get credit towards rewards by completing objectives like capturing flags and planting bombs. Furthermore, a new layer of customization bureaucracy has been inserted between you and your point streak rewards. Instead of simply picking three from a single list, you must now manage your strike packages, of which there are three. Knowing the ins and outs of strike packages will help you make the best of your mucho player time, but before we break it down for you, it's time for a new gun interlude. Take a gander at the XM25. This air burst and beauty launches grenades at all the right places and delivers just enough splash damage to clean house. And damn if that ain't one fine looking scope. Yeah. And we're back. First up is the Assault Strike Package. Much like the kill streaks of old, Assault rewards you for points accrued in a single life and resets if you die. Rewards focus on destroying your enemies and hearing the lamentations of their women, so this is where you'll find your Predator Missile, your Airstrikes, and your Hovering Harbingers of Doom. There are also a few new options that deal different kinds of death. The IMS, or Intelligent Munitions System, is relatively easy to attain and works like a little bunch of bouncing Bettys like a boisterous, bloody, body-bursting bunch of bouncing Bettys. There are also some handy new helicopter helpers, a grip of laser-guided UAV missiles, a burly assault drone that looks like a wee little tank, and the stylish and sensible Juggernaut suit. Modern Warfare 3 has done away with the game-ending nuke reward, so the toughest one to earn is what we like to call the Robot Santa Claus. The Osprey Gunner reward lets you rain hot explosive terror down on your enemies while showering your friends with care package presents. Merry Christmas to all and to all a new gun interlude. How's about a look at the FMG9? Like something out of an 80s sci-fi movie, this pistol automatically unfolds when you whip it out. You could even whip it out with two hands, making it one fashionable accessory to murder. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, that interlude was a bit interrupty, but still informative, I guess. Moving on, the support strike package may have many familiar rewards in it, but there's one crucial difference. Your point streak does not reset when you die. This means no matter how many times you get gunned down or blown up, you can still help your allies out with UAVs, counter UAVs, advanced UAVs, and then a bunch of non-UAV related stuff. Like ballistic vests. Hey, free vests. Get your vests, yeah? And don't forget to grab one for yourself. You deserve it. There's also the airdrop trap, which is a booby-trapped care package just like the Hacker Pro players in Black Ops used to make. Folks haven't really gotten the hang of being tricky with these yet, so if you see a care package sitting conspicuously out in the open, maybe let your teammate investigate? Whoopsie-daisy. He chose poorly. Two remote-controlled rewards provide two new reasons to find sheltered places to go prone. The remote sentry is pretty self-explanatory, helping you get one degree of minigun separation away from any points you are trying to capture. The recon drone, on the other hand, is a bit stranger. You see, this little guy flies a new gun interlude. Hey! For the gun enthusiast with a penchant for sexy clips, 
get a load of the PP90M1. Trapezoids, bananas, and drums ain't got nothing on this tubular sensation, which delivers fully automatic machine gun fire that's bound to make your enemies sweat. Oh yeah. Okay, that was more of an interrude, if you ask me. Where was I? Ah yes, the Recon Drone is a Rescue Ranger-sized helicopter that you fly around the map and use to tag your enemies. Enemies receive a slightly disorienting jolt when you tag them, and then they appear on your teammates' radar. Recon Drones are pretty easy to shoot down, but the info they provide can give your team an edge in combat. Helping your squad out is the general spirit of the Support Strike Package, though there's a Stealth Bomber in there for good measure, as well as slightly more supporty takes on the Juggernaut Suit and the Osprey Gunner. If you aren't the kind of player who stays alive for long, the Support Strike Package is a great way to get in on the Point Streak action and expand your repertoire beyond UAVs and Care Packages. Now we're going to cover the third and final Strike Package, but first, let's make time for, uh... For a new gun, um, huh, all right, guess we'll press on. The Specialist Strike Package delivers new gun interlude. Hey, come on! There's a new light machine gun on the scene, ladies and gentlemen, and it's called the PKP. Peach and Edge. Peck and, peck and egg, pe pe pechani, pe pechang, or whatever. Surprisingly accurate and bursting with bullets. Are you down with PKP? Yeah, you know me. Yeah, I know I was about to talk about the Specialist Strike Package before I was so rudely interluded. Now then. The Specialist Strike Package is the most unconventional of the bunch, because instead of traditional point streak rewards, you earn new perks that stack on top of the perks you already have. You also get these perks at 2, 4, and 6 kills, making them the most quickly delivered point streak rewards. You won't earn the power to rain death from above, but you can add extreme conditioning and quick draw to your blind eye and assassin, making your fully undetectable soldier much more mobile and quicker on the draw. Whether you're shoring up your weakness with Blast Shield or staying alive longer with Sit Rep, new perks can give you a critical edge in these frantic firefights. Armed with your newfound strike package knowledge and the Call of Duty familiarity that most humans have now absorbed through cultural osmosis, you're ready to new gun interlude. The sassiest sniper in the land uses the RSASS. So why not go prone with this long barreled lovely and take aim? That is quite enough, thank you! Uh, for more tips on each individual weapon in Modern Warfare 3, you can peruse the free loadout information offered online by Call of Duty Elite, provided you can get past the waiting room. As always, be sure to have New Attachment Interlude! Good lord! For those of you that like it both ways, the hybrid scope goes from holographic to ACOG with the lightest flick of the wrist. Stop it! Folks, be sure to share your favorite loadouts, strike package tips, and stories of glorious victory in the comments. And hey, thank you for watching The Gun Show. That's my line!